Today, Twitch chat and my unpaid intern, Zach, used an artificial intelligence program called Novel AI to GM a tabletop RPG for us. The rules are simple. Say and do anything we want in order to complete one quest from the quest board. The first thing to do was create our character. Oh yeah, and also all art is being created by another AI called Wonder AI. Let's begin. We need to, we need to figure out what we are. So we need to come up with what, what race are we? Uh, what race? And I need some options to be thrown out into the chat as to what races we want to play as. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think that is everything. Uh, yeah, that's everything. Okay, pulls up. Now I'm going to point out the AI may not know that Kenku can only repeat things. We will write that down. It can only say what it has heard in the past. I don't know if the AI is going to be smart enough to do that. And the AI will often do the dialogue for us. Okay, so 10 seconds left. I don't think the votes are really going to change. I'm closing it. We are a tiefling. Okay. Same deal. Start throwing out your options for a class. Oh, we got a tie. What are we going for? Karen or Ranger? Karen sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know if the AI will get it right, but you know, I'm going to write down if we go with Karen that they like to complain about every little thing and more predominantly like to speak to the manager or whoever is currently in charge. I don't know how like a Karen is going to fight. Um, I'm guessing it's more like they're doing psychic damage through their voice, just trying to annoy people. Uh, I think Karen has won this though. Um, our class is Karen, unless anyone changes their votes. I'm going to leave the poll open for now. We are Betty Bethany, the tiefling Karen. We are a tiefling. Our class is Karen. Karens are very argumentative. This is who we're playing this one shot. Okay, at first glance, I thought that the inside of the Adventurer's Guild Hall looked no different from that of any other tavern in Kramas. The melodious chords of a lute being played were barely audible beneath the sounds of the laughter. And behind the bar, a matronly blonde elf poured drinks with a kindly smile. Now, I, I told it to do this, and it just gave me a bar. So that's, that's what our image is. There is no elf there. I guess she's just in our mind. Naturally, I visited the guild hall before, but this was the first time as a fully fledged member of the guild, a real card carrying adventurer. Turning away from the tables filled with customers, I instead approached the large quest board mounted on one of the side walls. The cork board was covered with dozens of quests, haphazardly pinned pieces of parchment, each with a handwritten description of their ob objective. It didn't matter if I couldn't handle it alone. I reminded myself well, I could always team up with the other adventurers if necessary. A slender elf carrying a bow seemed to be unsuccessfully negotiating with a group of beastmen to join their party. And in the corner of a booth nearby, a diminutive hooded figure was seated alone, flipping through a thick book and muttering quietly under their breath. I turned my attention back to the quest board, looking for something suitable, and then I found it. Quest, defeat the undead necromancer. Reward, 10 gold coins per person. Requirements, level one to 10. Location, answer cemetery. Status, acceptable. We go to the elven barmaid and say, how dare you not provide me a party for this task of fighting the undead necromancer? I demand to speak to your manager. She replies, oh, hello there. How may I help you? I respond, I've come to complain because you're charging too much for this quest. What? What? You're charging more than the going rate in town. It's outrageous. We could get this done at for half. <laughs> what? Are we trying to haggle for like a lower reward? <laughs> If we just went to the woods and fought the undead ourselves. She laughs and says, you poor things, don't you know anything? Clearly not. That's ridiculous, I say. Let me talk to the guild master and got it right. And got it right. I'm sure he can find us a cheaper alternative. I tell her, no, I insist. Let him hear our story. I'm sure he'll see reason. Give us him. Give us the guild master. I take out a piece of paper and write a letter to the guild master. Okay. Uh, then I hand the note to the elf barmaid. She reads the letter and then hands it to the manager. After a moment, she looks up. Yes, I think I understand. What are you saying exactly? I explain. Well, basically, I don't care if we need to fight the undead in the woods. That's fine. But why are you charging so much money for this? I mean, it doesn't make sense. Are you trying to gouge customers? I bet that the guild master will be able to negotiate a better deal for us. Wait, like, if we scroll up, 
It was 10 gold coins per person as a reward. We're not paying anything. I'll go right now and ask him to intervene. I won't let you charge us an exorbitant fee. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. We're a small business. We have a reputation to maintain. If word got out, people wouldn't come here anymore. And then we'd be out of business. I'm not leaving until you call him, but just do it. Call him. She hesitates. Fine. I'll give you 10 minutes. I'll go get him. I waited impatiently for the guildmaster to arrive. There was no way they could refuse me, I thought. Uh, sure enough, after a few minutes, the manager returned with the guildmaster in tow. Guildmaster replies, I'm sorry, but we cannot lower the price. This is the going rate. If you want to do this, you'll have to pay up. You shouldn't have come here demanding things. He says, no, you don't understand. This is the going rate. I retort, you can't be serious. I'm not paying this. I'll go to the guild master and tell it. Wait, what? I'll go to the mayor. I'll go to the mayor and tell him what happened. I'll add that though. <laughs> do, you, do you know who I am? <laughs> do you know who I am? I'm the wife of the chief of the guards. Chief of the guards, he says or asks. I reply, yes, and I'll have you know that I've been married to him for over 30 years. I know his mother. <laughs> I know his father. I know his grandfather. I know the mayor. I know everyone. If you don't lower this price, I'll go straight to the council. I'll tell them that you're taking advantage of your position and ripping people off. Please, <laughs> nail the carrot aspect. <laughs> Let's go. That's ridiculous, he says. We're not getting any money out of this. We just want you to do the job. And I say, and you expect me to do it for free. Wait, we flipped it? Well, I'm not doing it. I'm going to the council. I'll tell them you're scamming people. He says, oh, you're not leaving, are you? <laughs> I reply, are you threatening me? Because if you are, I'll go to the police too. The guildmaster laughs and says, no, 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 I'm just joking around. I say, don't lie to me, you threaten me. He replies, look, I don't know what you're talking about. I was just messing around. <laughs> I say, I don't believe you. You said you wanted me to do the job for free. Well, okay, hold up. Are we back to it being a reward and not us paying things anymore? I'm a little confused. But anyways, you wanted me to do the job for free. And you told me to go to the mayor? I'm telling you right now, I'm going to go to the mayor. I won't stop until I get my money back and make sure that you're punished for this. He says, look, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't even trying to threaten you. I mean, AI's doing a great job now. I was just joking around. I say, then how did I get the feeling that you were threatening me? I don't know. Maybe because I'm a bad liar. I say, so you admit it. He says, fine, but I'm warning you. Don't try to sue me. I'll just deny everything. I say, I'm not gonna sue you. I'm just gonna go, <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the council. <laughs> I'll tell them about your scam. I promise you, they'll hear my side of the story and they'll agree with me. I'll make sure that you're forced to pay the full amount and that you're banned from ever accepting another quest again. <laughs> we're, look at me, we're the quest giver now. <laughs> I'll make sure you're blacklisted forever. He says, okay, fine, let's settle this here. Take this paper. It has a map to the cemetery. And my party, do you expect me to go to the cemetery alone? Do you actually, you guys actually want to deal with a full party in AI? Okay, I'll say it. Uh, that seems pretty accurate to me. He smiles and says, of course not. If you're going to fight the undead, you should go with a party. You can find one at the cemetery, or you can go to the tavern and talk to one of the other adventurers. So what do we do? Do we go to the cemetery and hope we just find someone along the way? Or do we go back to the tavern, find someone there? Or do we do something really unorthodox and like go and try to bribe the town guard or something like that? So, okay, we're just, I'm just gonna go with this. You guys didn't say one thing or another. We're gonna go with this. I say, hey, I'm Chris. I'm new to the town. I need to defeat the undead necromancer. Can you help me? We're not Chris. We're not. We're Betty Bethany. What if it's your place? Sure. What sort of undead? Undead zombies? Undead skeletons? Undead vampires? I reply, well, all of them. I don't care. They're all the same to me. I just want to kill them all. Oh, there's Chris. Okay. 
I'm a level one human warrior. I haven't had any real combat experience yet, but I'm pretty good with the sword. I reply, that's perfect. This guy's gonna become an undead by the end of the story. <laughs> we decide to go to the cemetery together. The manager escorts us there. She says, don't worry. And Chris is He's not surviving this. There's nothing dangerous here, just the usual zombies and skeletons. I say, what about the undead necromancer? She shrugs. No idea. They usually don't attack unless provoked. I look at her suspiciously. I'll be careful then. Thanks. No problem, she says. We enter the cemetery and walk around looking for the undead necromancer. We're just going to will a pet drake into existence. Can I have your pet drake? We'll just assume she's had it this whole story. Can I have your pet drake? I'll need him. You want my dragon? I nod yes. She says, and she sighs and says, fine, but you're going to have to deal with his bad attitude. <laughs> I say, that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hand on his head, on the head of the dragon and whisper, come little guy, let's save the world. <laughs> your, your name is Fluffies? Now burn all the undead? Um, I mean, that might just kill the skeletal undead. Like he can't, I'm gonna make an amendment here. They're immune to fire. I shout, Fluffy, do it! The dragon does nothing. Fluffles, do it now! Nothing happens. Fluffles, come on, just, just burn a few of the corpses already. Still nothing. Uh, fluffs. Fluffles, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you burning anything? It's not working. It doesn't matter how much you yell or scream at the dragon, it won't do anything. <laughs> oh man. So we have the strength that does nothing. We have Chris, who's a level one warrior that's useless, and we have us, level nine, Karen. I pull out my sword and swing wildly. Burn, you stupid dragon. Burn everything, or I'll roast you alive. I run forward, swinging my blade. Fluffles, you're so useless. <laughs> I hate you. I swing the sword and again and again. Fluffles, you're a piece of shit, and I hate you. I swing the sword over and over again, shouting at the top of my lungs. Well, hello there. Who might you be? Says a cloaked figure. An intense aura permeates around him as he exits the shadows. It's, it's almost like a dark green light. Who are you, I ask. He looks back at me and says, I'm the master of this cemetery. I hope you weren't planning to attacking, or planning on attacking the undead. Nope, we're just gonna be passing through, heading towards the east. I see. Well, if you need any assistance, you can always talk to me. I'm the graveyard keeper. This graveyard's dreary. It smells. There's no sense of decor, and my Drake or my, my Drake won't listen to us, and it's clearly your fault. You know, I think this is enough. We can leave. Fine, I'm leaving. I turn away and start walking. He follows me. Please stop. You're making a scene. I'm trying to help you. Thanks for nothing. Look, I'm sorry, I don't want to cause trouble. I put my hands on my hip and glare at him. My name is Janus, and I'm a cleric. Oh, okay, that's not the that's not the necromancer. Okay. I say, Janus, you idiot! Don't you know that the undead can be killed with fire? Can't, can't, we've already, can't. And you're a cleric! Of course you don't have any spells that work against them. He, say, he looks at me and says, I didn't realize that. Well, he's an idiot. Well, now you do. Now get out of my way. The undead have started moving towards us. Fluffy, burn them. What does Fluffy do? Nothing happens. Fluffles, why aren't you doing anything? Because I don't want to. Well, the dragon speak. I look at the dragon and he says, why should I burn the undead? The undead are just normal people who died. I don't feel like burning them. Then go away. I'm tired of you. Turn to the great keeper and ask, can you please kill these zombies? No, I can't. The undead are just normal people who died. If I were to kill one of them, they would rise from the dead again. That's not allowed. But I'm the customer. I pay money to you. I need you to help me. Otherwise, I'll never be able to complete my first quest. Please, please, please kill the undead. Fluffles. Use the magic! A huge ball of energy appears in front of the dragon. Get in there! Flo the dragon flies into the fireball. Do it! Do it now! Burn the undead! The dragon screams and burns everything. Fluffles, stop! 
You're killing all of them. I'm going to make sure that you're banned forever from accepting another quest. Who said that? Who's saying this? Your entire party will be expelled from the guild. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I hate this place anyways. I'm going home. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Then a whole bunch of BS happens where we have to go back to the town, kill the tavern owner, take control of the tavern, turn it into a dungeon, and then finally we get back on track trying to kill the necromancer. And so, we go back to the cemetery and look around for the necromancer, shouting various insults at his management skills and manhood. Hey, don't talk about my flock that way. I'm just saying what everyone thinks. Your followers are weak and pathetic. All they can do is follow you and listen to your orders. What the hell is that? I don't know either, it's just a spell. I'll give you a taste of my power. A huge ball of energy appeared in front of the necromancer. The ball grew bigger and bigger until it became a fireball. Fluffo, stop! No, I'm not. The fireball flew towards me. I screamed and ran away. Whoa, that was close. That's your last warning. If you say another word, I'll kill you. I won't. You better not. We've already said another word. What are we going to cast now? Harpy Screech? Which is an improved Sonic Screech. It deals more damage than the original spell. Ah, Fluffles! Where is Fluffles coming into play here? Stop! You're hurting me! I'm sorry I didn't mean to! I'm sorry I didn't mean to! I'll teach you a lesson. The skeletons attack me! I kill one of them with my sword. No, you can't hurt me. I want to speak to your manager. You've triggered me. <laughs> What's wrong? Did I say something offensive? And I'm actually going to... I'm going to intentionally add in the undead necromancer says so that it doesn't assume it's Fluffles. Yes, you did. I'm going to sue you for slander. I'm going to kill you. The undead necromancer says. You're dead already. I'll kill you. I'm sorry I didn't mean to. What is this is just like Fluffles default response. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. He's just over here on the side. Uh, I'll, I'll make you pay. I won't. I need to get away from you. Do something, Fluffles. I'm sorry I didn't mean to. We're arguing over here. <laughs> this is us arguing with the necromancer. And Fluffles is just over here apologizing on the side. <laughs> so uh I'm gonna try to get that over here on the side. So it's not obstructing chat. What is Fluffles doing? Fluffles needs to help us. He's just going to apologize again. I don't know why that looks so, so romantic. I don't know. Fluffles, help me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Fluffles uses his telekinesis to knock the undead horse back. I can't take much more of this. He's going to kill me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Fluffles. He's, he's a broken record at this point. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'll kill you. I'm sorry. All right. What are we doing? Someone said Banshee Screech. We did break the AI. I, I don't think it is expecting a Karen to exist in a fantasy setting. But he's the Banshee Screech on the undead necromancer. There we go. Casting it. You're not supposed to do that. I'm sorry. I cast Sonic Screech on the undead necromancer again. The second time, the Sonic Screech does less damage than the first. <laughs> we may have. No, we gave... We gave... We gave Fluffles PTSD because every time Fluffles does anything, he apologizes with the same sentence. That's all he knows how to do. Don't worry, I will have fun with this. The undead dragon attacks me. I kill it with a few well-placed spells. Fluffles, I need you to do something. Fluffles, <laughs> I can predict it. I can predict it. Uh, where's he going to say? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. That's what he's going to say. Watch him. What? Wait, what is it? No. Oh. Fluffles has learned to do something else. I want you to teleport me somewhere safe. Okay. Fluffles teleports me to a safe place. Thanks. You're welcome. Where are we? <laughs> I just... We need to know where we are. We're at the inn near the graveyard. Inn? What kind? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, the, wait it's just a normal inn? Why? Well, it looks like a dungeon. So I guess we're out of the... I guess we're out of combat now? Then why do you call it the end of the dead? What? Because people died here. <laughs> yeah, but the 
they're already dead. We now spend a few minutes trying to find Chris, finding another guy who wants to kill us, and then spending a few minutes trying to multi-class into a SoundCloud rapper. Let's see if it gives us a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a play-by-play as to how that happens. My new class allows me to create clones of myself. This enables me to increase the number of clones I can produce. As a result, I can create even more clones which increases the amount of money I earn per clone, while simultaneously decreasing the cost of maintaining them. Oh shit, <laughs> we've got an army of Karens in hell. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know how we, we gave it SoundCloud wrapper and outputs, we, ne we can now duplicate ourselves. I don't, we are the MLM, we can do it with ourselves now. <laughs> this also means that I can sell more, wait, what? With enough clones, we can fucking, wait, are we selling our clones into indentured servitude? Are they becoming slaves? Wait, what boss? Who did we kill? We never got the answer to this question. Instead, we went looking for the boss in the dungeon we got teleported into. Hey, I found the boss, let's kill it. All right, but let me cast detect magic first. Sure, looks like it's a dark elf. <laughs> They also say if they don't surrender, we'll force them to join a shitty HOA. And I'm not going to spell out what that is because I'll let the game, I'll let the AI figure out what it wants to do. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm just trying to make you feel better. I'm not feeling better. Sorry. The Dark Elves continue to ignore us. I don't know who's speaking here. There's multiple Dark Elves, though. It's not just one. I'm going to attack. You're going to what? I'm going to attack. I summon a horde of skeletons to fight alongside me. When did we get that capability? Why? I'm going to attack. I cast Sonic Scream on the Dark Elf. Ow, that hurt. You're not supposed to do that. What are they? I'm really confused as to what's happening here. Maybe someone could parse. We now get into an endless loop of ow, that hurts. You're not supposed to do that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I'm not Fluffles, you idiot. Over and over again for probably five to 10 minutes, I lost count. In the end, we had to kill Fluffles to make it progress, but don't worry, he comes back later. <sighs> yeah, that, we, I mean, it was funny for a little bit that we gave the, we gave Fluffles the, uh, where is it? The PTSD, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Like, <laughs> almost everything he said was that for a long time, but so he handles this. Yeah, nice job, thanks. I go back to the uh, inn where Chris tells me that the undead necromancer has been slain. <laughs> I know, I did it, idiot. We had to kill Fluffles, do we want to revive him? We're apparently part necromancer now. <laughs> he wakes up and he's got the PTSD again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> and so that's the story of how we gave a pet dragon PTSD. Anyhow, did you know that only 